Hey guys, we have the tough A15 here and Google Cap, let's save for the video. And I'm going to be showing you all the upgradable options and let's get right into it. First, shut your PC down and let's flip the PC. And we have two screws here, two screws here and four screws and one screw in the middle. And this screw is not detachable. It's just stuck to this case uh, lid. You just need to unscrew it to lift it up. So let's get a screw. Let's unscrew all these screws now. Okay, now you can use anything like a guitar pick or something which is slightly sharp. I'm using this. So, and you can see here the gap between these two places. Here, you just put these and just get it all around. Start from this side as it's loose because of the screw. You can hear the sound. Don't worry, it's just those uh, places where it gets hooked into. You can just click it back in while you're closing and you'll hear the same sound. Do this all around the piece. And you can just lift it up. Here we go. Keep the lid aside. Yeah, so here's your PC internals. Your SSD is here and another SSD slot here. Two RAM slots. One is not filled and another is filled. And your battery, 90 watt hour battery. And there's a, a Wi-Fi module under this SSD. Let's upgrade the RAM first. I have a crucial 3200 uh, MHz DDR4 RAM. You can upgrade to max 32 GB, 16, 16 in each slot. Okay, so here we go. We have the RAM here and I'm just gonna move this properly. You can see the slot. I'll just flip it so that it's visible more properly. Here we go. Uh, so there's a notch here, notch. So you need to align this notch with that notch. So slide it in a 30 degree angle, like so. Align it and slide it. And you just press it down, over, that's it. That's how you put the RAM in. And it's the same for the other slot, just uh, remove it like, pull these two, uh, these two metal holdings like this. It comes up and it pop pops out. Like that, you can just put it back in the same way which we did last time. 30 degree angle, align notch and push it in. That's it. So this is how you upgrade the RAM. Now comes the SSD over here. You can do the same thing for this SSD. I don't have a SSD now. So I'm just gonna show how to remove this and put it. This has a thermal pad on it. So just unscrew this screw over here to remove the SSD. And the screw comes out and keep it aside. And here we go. Lift it up in an angle and just remove it out. This is the SSD. It's the same way this also has a notch here, which you can see. You need to al align it same way here, there's a notch. Here there's a notch. Same way you align this notch and put it in. Now I'm not gonna put because there is a Wi-Fi module here, which I was talking about before. There's a Wi-Fi module under this, so even if you want to upgrade the Wi-Fi module, you need to remove it, remove this SSD, and then only you can upgrade it. So what you do is, what you do is just rem remove these two pins out of this module and unscrew this again. It's similar to this SSD, just there's also a notch in this, two notches but there'll be only one notch in this port. Just align that notch in a 30 degree angle and put it in and unscrew it and put these two pins back for your new module and re-screw it. So yeah, and I'm gonna be showing you back how to put it. I have just told it, but I didn't put it yet physically. So here you see the notch and there's a notch here. Just put it in like this 30 degree angle. 
um, not able to show it you should show it properly because of this sticker and it's a 30 degree angle just push it down and take the screw and screw it back in like so it's the same thing for this ramp uh, ssd slot you can see the notch here just put it like that when you have a new ssd to upgrade now for the battery the huge battery i'm sure you're not gonna upgrade this battery because it's a 90 watt battery but if this battery goes bad you need to obviously replace it so there are four screws here one two three four and there's a port here like the connector for the battery you just remove it remove it and remove it like this just pull it that's how you remove it and push it back in like this that's it and just unscrew these four one two three four screws and you can just replace your battery in and your uh, your fans might be dusty obviously it's recommended to just clean it up you can just take a small paint brush or something obviously don't use harsh hard stuff on it it might break the fins yeah and obviously some people have uh, air cans to spray it i'm not we don't have it here <laughs> but yeah so guys i just dusted the fans and let's put the lid back in just place it on it and just press it so that it gets uh, hooked back you should hear the click sound and after this let's just screw it back in screw all the screws back in so now let's just flip this pc and boot the laptop up and check whether our upgrades are done so guys after you have closed the lid of your pc you just need to click on the start button it will boot up a couple of times because it's recognizing your ram or ssd which you have added and that's it your pc is upgraded and if you're wondering about this google cap do watch this video out thanks for watching see you in the next video